watching a person like her who she just does not stop. She just keeps rising. It's just fantastic. In terms of the Anthea that I perceive, she's a person of great compassion, a superbly ethical person, a person of almost blinding intelligence, and clearly, as we sit here today, outstanding achievement. That's who she is. She's currently the Elizabeth McMillan Director of the Smithsonian Museum, and she's the first woman since its founding in 1964 to ever hold that position. That ought to be reason enough. That accompanied with the sort of person that she is, and that also in light of her professional accomplishments, being the CEO and executive director of the California Historical Society, her other positions of great responsibility. There was a historical preservation department of the city of Riverside, and she worked in planning and historical preservation. At all times that I spoke with her, every time I saw her make a presentation, it was not ever going through the motions. It was because she feels deeply that we remain our best selves when we remember where we've come from. It's interesting, in our country, we're having a very fractured conversation about what our, quote unquote, our history is. It's my understanding that it's her responsibility to protect and maintain, for example, the Star Spangled Banner, the hat that Lincoln wore when he was assassinated, the lunch counter um, in the Woolworths in North Carolina, where um, people were confronted because of the fact they were African American, that they couldn't sit at the lunch counter. Being the caretaker, the protector of these cultural reminders of the danger we're in when we allow petty differences to divide us. I can't think of a better human being to make sure that those are maintained, but more importantly, because of her expertise, to be able to explain them to us at the times that are appropriate so that hopefully we can be a better us.